let's talk about using the parts panel of the no flight editor so in the no flight editor Another important panel to learn in our 101 level course is the parts panel. No flight by default, the first thing you see is a score, and you can create multiple parts, and you can look at individual parts and scores. So the score and the parts are dynamically connected, and that's what I'll show you now. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to probably make this um, piece of music a little more palatable. So let me see if I can do something that's not as crazy, um, which I'll probably just end this on a G and see what happens. So. There's my thing, we're not gonna slur to nowhere. So we have a little song here. Um, not a great song, but a song. So I open up the parts panel and it defaults to a piano instrument. Now, I can change this, right? So if I want this to be a trumpet, the most glorious and noble of all instruments, I can say trumpet. Now notice note flight defaults to concert pitch. The very first thing in the score menu, notice parts panel and concert pitch is the next thing. Show in concert pitch, unshow in concert pitch. Hashtags, no hashtags. So always remember note flight defaults to concert pitch. I'm gonna go ahead and take concert pitch off so you can see the transpositions. Now, if I wanna add a part, I can add another part. So let's add an alto, alto sax. Let's make this really fun. Let's add a viola. I'll show other clefs. Let's add a tuba. I'm just searching. By the way, I'm going quickly here. You have categories, so if you wanna search through the different instrument sounds, you can, right? But you can just search and find what you're looking for, but they're all categorized up here. Um, the other thing to notice is that you're selecting the instrument, so I'll select bassoon, but if I want to change the name of the part, you can do that. So if you have bassoon one, right, you can do that, or bassoon two. So you totally have that option. In fact, I'll show you like a trumpet's a good example. Sometimes you want to put like in B flat, you can add this, or trumpet in C. You can even change the key. So the trumpet is the sound. I can change the transposition and call it trumpet in C, and now I've created a C trumpet. So you actually can create a sound, but you can create all these other instruments as well. You're not limited to only the instruments Note Flight provides. You can take a sound and do anything else. In fact, you could take a bassoon and call it a didgeridoo and know, know the difference. Just kidding. I, I like didgeridoos a lot. I would never offend them like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly copy and paste all these notes in. Notice Note Flight already automatically handles the, um, the transposition for the instruments. So here it is. Now, I have a trumpet in C way down here and I wanna get it up to below. So I can drag and drop the order of the parts panel and it automatically does it. So you can drag and drop these, you can edit the part and you can, you can play back. Now, now that we have parts, let's hear my masterpiece. Beautiful, I love it. Now, it's playing back the full score. You can also select play only parts in view, which allows you to do exactly what I say, play only parts in view. So I'm viewing all parts now, but notice in the parts panel, you can select which individual part you wanna see. So if you wanted to send this to your students, you could send them the full score, and the student can say, well, I play alto sax, so the student only plays alto sax. With play only parts in view enabled, that's exactly what it means. If the student's looking at the alto sax part, they will only hear, they'll only hear alto sax. They can also disable play only parts in view. This means I'm looking at the alto sax part, but oh, I'm gonna save this, but I'm hearing the whole thing. So let me go back. Parts panel. I'm gonna show all my parts. I'm gonna to listen to all my parts. Well, it doesn't wanna behave right now. I think I confused it by switching it too fast. So, we have all the parts here. It's still playing out those sacks, but it should actually play just all the parts. But we'll cover this in 201. I'll reset and create a new score and show you how this works in 201. I'm probably moving too fast. Um, so, that is, 
using the parts panel in NoteFlightLearn.